They're the team to beat. On paper, Sports Radio, the ticket. Welcome back. Greater in the ball game on a Friday, and it's a big local weekend in sports, Greater. We have state track, we got state baseball, we got state softball, and joining us right now is a Boise State track and field bona fide legend joining us right now. Kerry Lawyer, he is still, Prater, the 100-meter dash champion in Boise State history. He set that record in 94, still stands today with a magnificent 10-2-1. Kerry, welcome to Idaho Sports Talk. You still have that record, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Yes, no, it's, it's been a while. That just kind of ages me, but... Uh, uh, it was it was fun. We had a, a good run at Boise State uh, with Coach Ed Jacoby, and it's fun. And, you know, records are meant to be broken, but I'm glad it's still sitting there. Are you really? I mean, is that the thing? I mean, you were still rooting. I mean, if I had that record, and Prater knows this, Kerry, I'd be rooting to keep that record. You, you, part of you want someone maybe to, to, to finally break it. It's good for the program. But at the same time, no, you go to bed every night still as the fastest dude in the history of Boise State track and field. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, um, of course, you don't want your records broke. But at the same time, I, I'm hoping for there's another kid that comes up and goes and challenges that record. It's pretty fast time. It is a pretty fast time. We're joined right now by Kerry Lahr, former Boise State track and field star, former Boise State football player, part of the lawyer family legacy. You guys are cranking out athletes all over the place, Kerry. And I want to talk about the 5A and the 4A state track and field championships going on at Eagle High School today and tomorrow. I know that's a big part of you and your family, but let me ask you this question first. We always like to judge here on this show in case you have never noticed. And I'm trying to decide what kind of track and field town Boise is. When I moved here in 1990, you guys were big time. The track and field scene for the high schools with everybody at, at Albertson Stadium, Bronco Stadium, Paul J. Schneider announcing it, 10,000 people in there big time, NCAA National Championships inside the same stadium. It's not the same now. So to update me on where you feel Boise sits as a track and field town right now. Well, okay, so the influx of the, the, the population increase, we're getting we're getting more athletes into our valley. So the the track and field from you know i'm a track and field geek so the track and field in this town is growing i don't i don't follow boise state as much anymore but i obviously am now following high school track quite a bit with my son and then my other two sons coming up through that so it is getting better and then folks like stacy Virgila um that are trying to to revive the kind of the indoor and the indoor training and the year-round training at track and field, that's going to be huge for us in the future. Speaking of huge, let's talk about this weekend's meet. 5A meet, 4A meet, two, four different meets, boys and girls at, at Eagle High School. It started this morning. It's going to continue till tomorrow. And let's start talking about your son, Mason Lawyer, Boise High. Ranked number one in the state <laughs> in the 200, number two in the state in the 100, number two in the state in the 400, and is dominating with his teammates in the 4x4 relay. So let, let's talk about Mason Lawyer and, and your connection to him, your emotional attachment to him. You, you're a father. You're a part-time coach. You're out there as a cheerleader. What does watching Mason run mean to you, and what do you expect from him this weekend? Oh, my God. It's a lot of excitement. Um, I've been super excited to, to kind of get to this point. Um, we missed all his, his full sophomore year last year. But he's going to try and pull off doing the triple, doing the 100, 200, and 400, and then the 4 by 400 relay. The recovery time is what I the only thing that concerns me because he's only going to have 30 minutes in between his 400 and 100 and his teammate in the 400 which will be one of the races to watch uh at actually his run of 48 52 liam murray he, this kid could go so mason and their buddies they, they were probably gaming a few hours ago so, so it's kind of fun but i but i love just i love his competitive fire and with mason it's all about recovery and just trying to stay healthy through this prelim tonight. Talking with Kerry Lawyer here, set an all-time school record, 
two one one hundred meter dash time back in nineteen ninety four. Now you're coaching, you're parenting, you're big into the local track and field scene. Carrie, in your opinion, because Prater talked about it, you come from a long line of speed in your family. And how much of that since you've studied this sport for as long as you have, how much is speed, you know, just God given, just genetic, versus being able to hone your craft, you know, learn how to run faster, moving your arms differently, or legs, or strides. How much is that? What's the difference there, Kerry? Well, genes are genes, um, and I'm not going to deny that. And and I come from a gene pool that is track and field, from my dad, my grandfather, my uncle on my mom's side, uh-huh. uh, to, to my sister, Prater's doctor, who is he was a, a heptathlon national champion so it's in the blood but like you said earlier i do coach there are technique things that can help kids get faster with their technique their posture there's a lot of stuff in track and field that it looks like they're just running but there's so many technical aspects to all of it all right, Kerry Lawyer, a lot of great athletes out there at Eagle High School today and tomorrow. A ton of great storylines. I used to love covering this event back in the day. It's such a beautiful event. Talk to me about some of the individual talent. Who are the superstars? Who are the D1 guys and gals that are going to go off and, and win state championships and maybe compete in college athletics? What are the top storylines or the athletes to follow these next couple of days? So uh, one of them already ran, and that is Sammy Smith, Samantha Smith of Boise, she won the 3200 earlier today and almost set an all classifications record. And she is a ninth grader. She is at North Junior High. Wow. <laughs> and she's also our cross country state champion. So Sammy and then her teammate, Allie Smith, they've been battling, or I'm sorry, Allie Bruce, they've been battling all year long. And she's a ninth grader as well. So Boise High has a stockpile of lady athletes. Kaden Holquist in the hurdles. She already got second in the long jump last night. She's the favorite in the 100 and 300 hurdles. And then their relay teams, 4x800, 4x400. They're fantastic. Boise High is the team to beat on the girls' side. Then there's uh, Megan Rose from Capitol. Prater, she is signed with the University of Utah. She is nice. going to run a track for the youth. <laughs> so she's a fun young lady to watch. She's ran under... 12 seconds in the 100 meters this year. She's going to be in the mix in the 200 meters. There's plenty of others I could talk about. You could talk about your pole vault. For sure. the ladies. There's there's Rainey from Capitol and Smith uh, from Boise and, and I think it's her name Louder from Centennial. I think they're all Stacey Dragila type of athletes, athletes that train with her. The pole vault's going to be fun to watch. So those are, those are some of the ones from the girls. That, but I know we're talking about our 4A, 5A, but over the hill in Emmett, their discus ring, they have the top female and top male discus throwers in the in the state in all classifications. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see them. We're not going to see them this week, but but I, I'm going to be following them. Yeah, Boise State track and field legend Kerry Lawyer on our Fat Guys Fresh Deli Hotline. You played three years of football on the blue. I looked your numbers up, Kerry. Check this out, Prater. He ran for three touchdowns, he caught for two touchdowns, and he took three punt returns back to the house. So a very versatile player, man. He must have had a lot of fun on the blue carry. Can you still get up and go? Like, let's be honest, man. You're a little older now, but if you're racing Mason in a 100-meter dash for, let's say, 500 bucks or something, could you beat your kid? Absolutely not. I left these days. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> the old blue turf has injured me for life, but that's okay. I loved every minute of it. <laughs> hey, Kerry, speaking of the, the ghost of the old blue turf, uh, and talking to you and looking at some of these uh, athletes that are competing these next couple of days, there, there's a couple of familiar names out here and uh, a couple of Boise State connections. We're looking at Eli Lawrence, a kid out of Meridian High School, a triple jumper, the son of Boise State Hall of Famer, and I believe Olympian Wendell Lawrence, and then Quincy Ellis, a Bora 800 runner, that's Jason Ellis's kid. Jason Ellis was one hell of a basketball yeah. player. Talk to me about Eli Lawrence and Quincy Ellis. Well, yes. Uh, JP needs to bring his butt down to the track and watch the 4x400 because it's going to be between Boise High and Bora High School with <laughs> Quincy Ellis on that. 
And so they, they have gone back and forth. They are the two top teams in the state, and that is one fun race to watch. Bora beat us in the city championship. We beat them in districts. The end of the meet tomorrow is going to be fantastic. Did you say, Carrie, did you say that your sister is Mike Prater's doctor? Oh, that poor woman, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my God. No, no, the horror stories that woman must have. Thank gosh for patient client confidentiality, Prater. Oh. <laughs> She, she yeah, declined. She declined my request to be my general doctor, but she was kind enough to be my shoulder surgeon. So yes, uh, uh, I spent a year and a half very closely with uh, the good Doctor Tracy Lawyer, and uh, as Carrie said, uh, a Pac-10 champion. A so well, I think she played soccer and track and field, and 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 it heptathlon national championships. Carrie, your family's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm very proud of my my little sister, and she uh, she trumped both my brother David, who was a three time Big Sky champion in the 400. That's she right. trumped him. She trumped she trumped me. She trumped us all. She's a stud. Big local weekend with state track and field. I mentioned earlier state baseball, state softball. Uh, let's hope it stays dry, Carrie, or, or gets a little more dry maybe. But uh, have a blast. This has been a fun interview. Way to, way to go, you know what? There's Hey, you know what? I, I will say the one kid that from on the boys' side to watch, and he's worth the price of admission, is Nathan Green of Bora. He's a UW commit. Oh. He's got the eighth fastest time in the mile in the 1600 meter race so oh. he's he's another one to watch love it love a good list good names and yeah. uh, we're, we're looking for a 60 foot shot putter too is is this such a thing exist in idaho high schools anymore carrie there is a kid from rocky mountain uh i believe his name i believe his name is gerald lucas he's a 58 he's a 58 -er, so he might be able to get it over there I love it. I love it. Track and field. You're pumping me up with this. I want to get out and watch this meet. The great Carrie Lawyer. I love it. Yeah, still the champion in Boise State history for the 100 meter dash. That 10 2 1 set in 1994. What, a, what great stories. Carrie, appreciate you coming on. Let's do this again. Oh, yeah. You guys, yeah, it's an Olympic year, so let's do it again. Great stuff. Carrie Lawyer, uh, Mike Prater, Johnny, Johnny Ball Game here. Prater in the Ball Game. Coming up. JP with the news.